Welcome back everybody to the Zenith Super Duty Build. In this quick little episode, I'm just going to show you how I mounted this antenna from Rami on the top skin of the fuselage. Well, this is what we're working with today. We have a beautiful comm antenna from a company called Rami, and I really like them. I had uh, this antenna on my RANS S6 and I've used two of their ADS-B and transponder antennas. In fact, I have them on my, my cruiser now. And so we're going with the Rami antennas again for the Super Duty. It comes with a mounting template, a rubber gasket that goes under here. Then it has a, um, a backing plate that goes under the skin. And it even comes with all the hardware. I chose about the same location on the Super Duty as I did on my cruiser to mount the antenna. And it's mounted on the top skin between these two lines of rivets or these two L angle stiffeners. And I think that putting it in the corner there gives it the kind of the strongest location. And it gives me a good mounting point for the uh, doubler that I'm going to make. In order to make the doubler that goes under the skin, I started off with a sheet of paper, which I just bent at a 90 degree angle put it up against the L angle and laid it flat on the skin. Now you can see I've drawn some lines on here. These are the lines for the rivets. And I drew these other lines figuring that would be the outline of the doubler. Here I have just sliced off the top of the paper. And once I had the paper to the size of the template that I want, I just traced it onto a piece of aluminum and I will cut it out of the aluminum. Once I did cut out the aluminum and file the edges smooth and, you know, get the aluminum all prepared nicely, I put it in my bending brake and I bent over the tab 90 degrees. And I just wanted to point out here, you can see the area I've left unprimed on the underside of the top skin. And I did that because I just want to make sure that the doubler and the bolts that mount the antenna make a good contact with the airframe for proper grounding. All right, I have the plate just clamped to this L angle, and I'm just kind of designing as I go. I drew some lines here to where the rivets are, and so there's a line of rivets there too. So I can either mount this maybe right here in between the rivets, or move it over here and put these screws in line with the rivets, or maybe I can just center it like this, and have the, uh, the antenna centered on that line of rivets. So that's where I'm at right now. And I figured this is gonna be a little bit easier to envision working on the top of the skin. So I flipped the skin over, and what I'm doing now is just drilling through the holes that are already in the skin down through the doubler. Because the front of this doubler will fit over the, it's not an L angle, it's the back of the bulkhead, um, that attaches to this line of rivets. So it'll be secured to this line of rivets. And I think as you'll see a little bit later, it's also drilled to that diagonal L angle. Yeah, so you can see with it flipped back over again, I'm using my 90 degree drill to drill through this diagonal L angle and then through the, uh, the doubler. So I think there's about four or five rivets that go through the L angle and then the rivets that hold it to the top skin. And once I had all of the holes drilled in the L angle and from the top of the skin, I took it all apart to deburr the holes and just clean it all up. All right, it's all cleaned up and prepped and ready to rivet, but I don't want to rivet it on until that back bulkhead is in place. Well, that's it. It's easy enough to use the included template to drill the holes for the antenna. Once I have the aft fuselage built and that rear bulkhead installed, I can rivet in the doubler. And then once the airplane is painted, I can bolt on the antenna. Well, this is where I chose to mount the antenna on my airplane. Depending on what airplane you're building, you may be able to mount it anywhere else. You may or may not need a reinforcing plate like I made. Um, if you do, hopefully seeing how I did it might help you a little bit. So anyway, thanks again for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up button. And we'll see you again on the next episode.